Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I am going to be totaling up my January savings challenges to see how much I saved in savings challenges for the month of January. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, so thanks again for coming back. This is something that is new for me, but I wanted to kind of wrap up the month with you guys so we can see what I ended up saving in January. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, Brandy, January is not even over. And you're right. But my next paycheck is not until January 31st. So I put that in February because it's the last day of the month and really it pays bills in February. So I can go ahead and wrap this month up as far as savings challenges are concerned, because I know that the next time I get paid, that will be what I consider February money. So even if I do a savings challenge video on the 31st, I'm still going to count it as February. So anyway, I just made this cute little sheet, which again, I am a sticker planner girl. So that is why this looks like this. Obviously, you can just write this on some notebook paper, but because I love stickers <laughs> and I love washi tape and I have an abundance of both, I am trying to utilize what I have. This washi tape is from Simply Gilded. All of my, pretty much every other sticker on here is from the Happy Planner. So this is from one of the like Princess Disney collections. This is just from a random, I don't even know what sticker book because I took it apart. And then these boxes are from the Mega box rainbow box sticker book so yeah so uh, let's get going i do have my calculator so we're gonna start do i want to go through i don't know if i want to go i don't think i want to go through these i pulled them out because i thought about it but now i'm like mm. because these are my sinking funds and they do tend to like sink frequently yeah, we're not going to worry about that. I don't even know why I pulled that out. Okay, so for January, in this one, which I'm calling for right now, coffee please, because that is the one we've been doing. It says 20, but I just want to make sure. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, great. So that is perfect. Counting is not really necessary, but I would just like to. This is the Zebra Click Art Pen, and I love it. These came from the Chicago Planner Conference for 2024. It should be $48, but again, let's make sure. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Perfect. All right. The Let's Give Funds Challenge should have 20 and I may go ahead and condense these because I don't want these to get too full 5 10 15 20 25 oh 30 10 20 30 okay so 30 dollars here my neighbors are neighboring in case you hear them Pocket change. I only got to do once this month. I'm hoping that February will let me do it more, but it should be $7, 5, 6, and 7. And if you purchase pocket change from M. Losh Designs, yours will not look like this. I attempted to punch holes in it, and my machine was like my 
hole punch thing was like really going crazy. So that's why the side of it is cut off. So this challenge is actually a little bit bigger than this um, when you purchase it. But yeah, I cut it because I was going to punch some holes in it and just put it in here as a punched thing. But yeah, I don't know what was happening. Joyride is from my shop, which as you can see, I did not clean very well. And it's $5. And this is the worst five in like the whole world. But that's okay. Yeah, like it's so bad. It won't even go in there right. Okay, maybe once I get some more money in there. $5 in Joyride. Taco is from Frugality is Life. I don't even know how much this is because I didn't do what I was supposed to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars in this one. I call this one financial freedom just because that's what it says here in the little <laughs> box. So this should have $12. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then this one I just call flower because at the time I made these stickers, I couldn't remember what it was called. So it should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mini savings, which I kind of want to fix this a little bit. I did bring some Sharpies home from work. I'm like, those X's were a little bit difficult for me to see. Okay, that's much better. All right, so we have 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $25 in mini savings. Oh, and I'm also not going to be counting the 50 envelope challenge because it'll get too hard to keep track of what month I stuffed what in other than going back and looking through like all of my papers and I just... I don't want to and besides i kind of like for that to be a surprise at the end especially since i'll be stuffing more than before um i did not do anything in the panda one this month oh and y'all really like went in on me like y'all was really clowning me about this iou i thought people did i i see people in the budgeting community do ious all the time but y'all was really laughing at me so i went ahead and took a dollar out of my miscellaneous envelope in my wallet, which I could have done anyway, but I was too lazy to get up and get it. <laughs> Let's be for real. But I took it out of here, so I'm going to throw this little IOU away. But yeah, y'all was really clowning me in the comments. I'm like, dang. So anyway, uh, I didn't cross off. I just noticed that. I didn't cross off binder. Like, I marked it off. Okay, but I didn't cross it off up there. All right, so now this word search has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 dollars in word search. Ooh. 21 dollars in word search. Let me stand up and make sure I'm filming because my phone has been doing the most lately. 
Okay, yep, we're good. All right, and then garbage, which took all the monies, all the monies. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So $47 Ooh. on garbage. It's the second highest savings challenge this month. Garbage came from, I forgot to mention that, budget with a teacher on Etsy. This has changed, like she has this, but when I looked it up today, because someone asked me about it in the comments, it's in like a bundle now for like $6, but it's a bundle of like six or seven challenges. I didn't see it individually, but I didn't honestly look that hard. This Nintendo Switch is from Allie over at Planning with Boys. I did not stuff anything this time. And then the Starbucks one, which I still forgot to laminate again because your girl is sick again. So I have been on the couch. <laughs> but um, this is from Budgets and Chaos. So there should be 20, 5, 10, 15, and 20. All right. So once we add all of this up... And just in case you're new, all of these challenges were put in here in January. Like, so I completely started, restarted my savings challenge binder over. Um, so none of this is like rollover money from last time. This is literally the money that I saved in January. And this from rollover. And I did allocate like um, $50 per check this time to make sure that I put in here. And I had some like uh, money from a job that I helped with on New Year's Eve. So if we add all of this up, which is not a ton, but every dollar counts, do not forget every dollar counts. So even if for the whole month you only save $20, you're $20 richer than you were last month. Don't forget that. Every single dollar counts. So don't look at other people's budgets. I have to say this because it's been coming up a lot again. Do not look at other people's budgets. Do not look at other people's financial situations and assume that because yours does not look like that, that you are doing this wrong. You are absolutely doing exactly what you need to do for you. Everybody's money is not your money. Everybody's life situation is not your life situation. So our budgets are not going to look the same. They can't look the same. Even if we lived in the same household, our budgets wouldn't look the same. <laughs> because you would have expenses, I would have expenses that are di different, separate, you know. So even if we lived in the exact same house, our budgets wouldn't look the same. Your job is your job. My job is my job. We get income from different, like there's so many different variables that play into this. So do not get caught up in YouTube thinking like, oh my gosh, they saved $12,000 and I was only saved 500. Congratulations. Congratulations for your $500 because there's somebody else that was barely even able to save 100. So no matter what you are able to do, do it. And like this right here, whatever this is, next month, something could happen and I could have to wipe this whole thing out and start over. And that's okay too. That's okay too. Because the joy of cash stuffing is having the cash to be able to pull in the event that something happens and is out of your control. You can come and pull the cash versus going out and get some ridiculous loan or going and using another credit card or even getting another credit card or anything of the, you know, or even borrowing money from a neighbor or a friend or family members. All of those things, you have to do what you have to do to survive. But if you already have the cash at home, on hand, in a high yield savings account, wherever you choose to keep that money separate from your everyday life money, then you are a thousand steps ahead of the game. And I'm proud of you. I am proud of you for every single dollar that you save. That's it. I'm proud of you. So if nobody else says anything, just know I am proud of you. So anyway, end rant. <laughs> Coffee, please, had 20. The 2024, nope. 20. 2024 had 48. Let's Get Funds had 30. Pocket Change had 7. Joyride had 5. 
Garbage had 47. Taco had 10. Flower had 7. Word Search had 21. Starbucks had 20. Financial Freedom had 12. And the Mini Savings had 25 for a total of $252. $252. Yay! That's so exciting. So I saved $252. This is just towards savings challenges. So this does not include any of the money that I put in sinking funds. And it also does not include any of the money that I put in the 50 envelope challenge. This is literally just the savings challenge games that we play on fun Fridays. So I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And if you are here specifically for my budgeting content and not for any of the other content, then I will see you on Friday for our next Fun Friday video. Thank you guys so much. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet. Be well, and I'll catch you in the next one.